What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be finally installing my soft wash system. Um, we're gonna be drilling into the tank. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna show because I'm actually trying to get it done. So I don't know if I'm gonna like go into the whole thing of me doing all this um, on camera, but I'll kind of give you like, you know, the, the big things that I do. Um, so I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start by drilling into the water tank. I had a platform built for my Arkansas soft wash kits box right here. So I'm gonna be bolting that down. Um, and then I'm gonna be using all my, uh, I'm gonna be installing all my lines, um, everything, we're doing everything today. So <laughs> I don't know how much of it I'm gonna show, but uh, I'm gonna get busy. So hope y'all enjoy. If nothing else, I'll bring y'all along every once in a while and kind of show you what I did. And then, um, and then I'll show you kind of the finished product. Hopefully I'll have it done today where I can put on the battery and actually run the system and show you, you know, it actually shooting water. So that's the goal. So uh, I'll be back here in a little bit, guys. I'm going to start drilling and getting busy. Um, yeah. So, all right. See you in a little bit. So as y'all can see, <laughs> I've got a majority of it, not majority of it, but I've got some of it done. Um, the only thing I don't like is that I have these cam locks on this side. Um, so I've got to run the hoses like right here kind of and try to make them look neat. I wish that I would have got it built with the proportioner on this side. So I could have just ran the hoses straight down over here and they're kind of hidden, but that's all right. Um, I kind of wish that this frame was a little bit shorter, but I, I figured out that I can probably uh, mount my battery. I was looking for a place to mount a battery, so I'll probably put the battery back here. So that actually might work out. Um, I just don't like how unproportionate it looks disproportionate. You got this box right here and then you got this space in the back, but I think we can put that space to use. So I got the hole drilled down there. It's gonna be my feed line. The old thick line is gonna be my feed line. Go to my water here, which I'm gonna switch this out for a half inch or three quarter. Um, and then I'm gonna run my soap line, which my soap line isn't long enough, the one that I got. So I'm gonna have to get another, a longer soap line or get another one that's 10 foot and extend and just put like a little, uh, splice it together pretty much put a little coupler in the middle so we're getting there <laughs> it's uh it's been kind of a pain but we're getting there this is my soap line right here and it's not long enough so that's all right it is what it is we're gonna try and make it work but yeah guys i just wanted to kind of show you what i've got so far i know that right now it looks super messy and you're like what the heck but once it's done, it's going to be nice. See that? That frame just, uh, I mean, it's nice because I can get to the top real easy and put bleach, but um, I wish it was just a little bit lower. But I've got to keep going or I'm going to lose daylight. So I'll bring y'all back here in a second. Well, guys, <laughs> I worked for another couple hours without even updating y'all. So I'm going to show y'all what I got so far. I've got the box mounted. I've got the sh going up here i've got my water supply coming up into the water only thing i need to do is get another soap line um, my soap line wasn't long enough like i said before and then i have the outgoing um cure tech line that goes down and around and feeds into my uh my hose reel and now all I've got to do is connect my uh, CureTech line to that which I've got my 100 foot hose I got my 100 foot pressure line right here you can see that and then I've got 200 foot of CureTech I measured it out I'm a little bit more than 200 feet, probably like 210 foot of CureTech hose. 
So I'm gonna have about 210 feet of hose on this hose reel. Um, I've got some more bolts right here that I'm gonna drill through here, through the square tubing and bolt this down better. Um, yeah guys, so so we're getting pretty close on, uh, on everything. The only thing I gotta do is get the soap line, get the battery mounted, uh, and then we'll be able to fire this thing up. So I don't know, man. I might, I might be able to do it tonight. Maybe. It's. <laughs> I've got a little bit left, uh, so I'm gonna keep going. I might just put y'all on like a little time lapse where you can see uh, the hose and stuff. What? Oh, another thing is, which freaking sucks. I think. Oh man, I think I used my last one. Yeah, I did. Out of hose clamps. Let me go see if I don't have any hose clamps then I'm done for the night because I believe well I might be able to make a run to the hardware store they might still be open I've got two right here if I need to use those but I really don't want to because that's my pumping station for my gold assassin so I really don't want to use those but if I have to wheel doesn't look like I have any all right so I might be making a run to the hardware store real quick because I think that's the only thing that I'm lacking right now it's the only thing that I need is some hose clamps so realistically I could use those two today and go tomorrow because I won't need any gold assassin until Sunday let's do that let's use these yeah that's what we'll do I'll use those yeah, I'm in the backyard. So I use those and then um, we'll be able to get the job done. So I'll bring y'all along. Hold on one second. Well guys, I almost, almost got it today. But I've been working on this thing all freaking day. I'm tired. So I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow. Not sure if I'll, I don't think I'll put this video out because there's not really a lot to it. So I'll probably link this in with tomorrow's update. And then hopefully tomorrow I'm shooting water, so. I think I'm gonna call it for tonight and uh, get some dinner. Yeah, guys, I got a lot to clean up too, so until I got tools everywhere. And it's starting to get dark, but I can't wait, guys. Hope y'all are, hope y'all are excited as well. So uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right. All right, guys. <laughs> it is the next day, uh, almost out of daylight again. So, I know, I forgot to freaking uh, film anything. I'm sorry. I, uh, I've been trying to get this done today. I woke up kind of late. I've been rushing, all right? So forgive me. But I'll show y'all kind of what I got right now. Right now I got all the air. I'm getting all the air out of the system. I still don't have my soap line. So I got it taped off. Battery's charging. Like I said, I'm getting all the air out. I spent most of today kind of finishing up everything and getting everything really solid. I put a lot of bolts in the box and then the battery, I mounted the battery on the back. So it's not the prettiest, but it works. Eventually I'll, you know, I'll kind of maybe change it. I don't know, but it's fine for now. Like I said, we got, we have a bunch of work that needs to be done soft washing so the goal was just to get the thing done to where it's uh, operational almost there we got the uh, the bleach tank I don't have any bleach it's just water but I wanted to check to make sure that we didn't have any leaks on anything everything's solid guys I mean I'm very surprised very happy with how it turned out we don't have any leaks on the trailer, so I guess all my stuff is holding up the way it should. The battery is like pretty low, so I think it's going to help whenever I have like a, a you know a higher voltage. It'll help push this thing a little bit uh, better. I got the charger on it right now, so we're just letting it, letting it do its thing. As you can see underneath, 
I've got everything really solidly mounted. I've got a couple self tappers and then I've got bolts going through the square tubing. Um, I've got four of those on the square tube, well three, I need to put another one right there. But I got the battery mounted down in one, two, three, four, five. Five different spots for the battery. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bolts holding down the box, plus four self tappers. So I'll put another bolt in the square tubing so that thing's solid, but I mean, do the same. It's like, I mean, it's shaking the whole trailer when I try to move it. So it's solid. And the remotes work. So, yeah, everything's wired up. I just gotta kinda clean this up a little bit on the side. As you can see, I got it plugged in up top. So it's charging now. But yeah, I mean, this thing, it seems like everything is good, so. I'm super excited. This thing's finally, finally getting close to being done. Check out this. Adams polishes concrete cup. Pretty cool. Yeah, guys, I mean, if I was really scared. I'll be honest, I was scared to uh, to take, the, take on this challenge. <laughs> I was nervous, you know. I've never done anything like this. I've never, I'm, you know, I've never plumbed anything. Uh, I was an electrician by trade, so I can wire stuff up. Um, once I have like a di like a diagram or if I know where stuff's supposed to go, then it's easy to wire um, But plumbing is just like a whole different ball game to me. So uh, Shout out to Sean at uh, Arkansas soft wash kits, man. He helped me a lot I sent him so many stupid questions and he was you know, he was like, yeah, man, don't worry about it This is what you need to do. This is where it goes Send me some pictures if you have questions and I mean every time I message him he was there to help so um, if you're gonna get if you're thinking about getting into soft washing, all in, I would say all in, like everything, hose, tank, the kit, the uh, the frame, the bolts, everything, I would say probably 1500 bucks and I'm set. So, um, I mean, we're gonna make that back in, you know, one job, we'll make that back in, in a roof and a house wash, we'll make that back. So, I mean, it's, if you don't already have a trailer with a water tank and stuff like that, then obviously you'll have to get like another tank for water or you could just batch mix. Um, with one tank like a 55 gallon tank if you just want to do soft washing but yeah man it's i'm happy man i'm really happy i'm happy that it's over <laughs> i'm happy for you know what's about to happen um i got 500 flyers in the other uh, yesterday i'm gonna go start handing those out go you know it's time to do that door-to-door -door thing it's december right now um the weather's like super nice out I'm lucky, you know, here in Texas, we can wash pretty much year round. December, January, February, you know, it's a little cold, but dude, next next spring, we're gonna be slammed. I know we are. Probably next week, I'm gonna, I already got my eye on some spots that I'm gonna go hand out some flyers and we'll just go out there and get it, man. Make that money. I'm telling you guys, if, you, uh, uh, if you're on the fence about pressure washing or soft washing, just start doing it on the side and see how it works out. Like I said, we've been in business for about a year, pressure washing. And um, I'll never work for anybody else, I'll tell you that. So I'm gonna get things finished up here and uh, talk to y'all later. All right. Still got a little bit of air in the system, but you can see this sucker is powerful. Switch over to a fan tip. system as you can tell but uh, pretty stoked about that well guys it's the next day and uh, we're good to go man I got everything hooked up everything is working all the airs out of the line we are uh, we're ready for the roof wash and the house wash this Friday so let's see we got 35 gallons of bleach. We got the soap line, everything ran. We got everything hooked up. Things solid. I drove uh, about 
an hour, about an hour away today to go get bleach. Um, I got 35 gallons in there and I got 35 gallons in that drum in the back of my truck. Um, we couldn't get 50 gallons in there so we just put 35. But I drove an hour away and an hour back with the trailer and had no issues. So nothing moved. Um, I mean, it's perfect. It's ready to go. We're ready to make some money. This is kind of my temporary setup right now for holding this wand on. I think eventually I'll do a uh, some kind of quick connect where I can hook the quick connect from here to there again so we don't have to deal with uh, with doing this every time. But she's done, guys, so I'll give you a full look at it. So yeah, that's gonna be it guys. I appreciate y'all watching and uh, I'll bring y'all along this Friday when we do the first house and roof wash with this system. So we'll see you then. All right, peace.